Hello, welcome to another Cleave Tech Tech Tips video. Today, with a race coming up in the UK very soon, I'm going to do something that I really hate doing when I get to the track. We're going to prepare a body shell. So today's task is mounting a body shell onto my car ready for the upcoming race meeting. As I said in my intro, I hate doing this at the track. So let's get started. I'll just move my body jig out of the way at the moment, the Cleave Tech body jig. We'll need that later on. And we'll start with our plain body shell. Here we are, unpainted. It's still got the protective layer on the top. This is a BPA BMW. It's one we use in our 24th Eurosport class here in the UK. This is model 035. So I'm going to start by taking a black pen because I need to trim the front of the body shell nice and straight and flat in preparation for using my body jig. I've been asked a lot of questions since releasing the videos on the body jig. I've been asked a lot of questions about preparing the body shell in advance. So this video should answer some of those queries too. So in order to get a nice straight line along my body shell, I'm going to use a flat block and a marker pen, and I'm going to put the body shell onto the block and hold it down onto the block. I'm then going to use my fingers to adjust the height of the pen along the front of the body shell. And I want to leave about a millimeter of vertical on the front of my body shell. And then I'm just going to push the body shell up against the pen and move the body shell round and mark a line on the front of the body shell and down the sides a little bit like this. And then I'll show you how that turns out. There we go. So we have a nice straight line round the front of the body shell and down the sides of the body shell like that. And then it's ready for trimming at the front. To trim the body shell, get a nice sharp pair of scissors, nice straight scissors. And I'm going to start by just trimming a little bit up the side, up to my line. And then around the front, following that line that I previously marked on the body shell. Sometimes not going quite to the end of the scissors, because sometimes if you go right to the end of the scissors, you can actually sort of dent the body shell and put a nick in the body shell which can cause the body shell to rip and tear and not sit nice and flat at the front. But we'll come to that later in the video. So there we go, the front of the body shell, all trimmed, pretty much to what's going to be the final height. We may change slightly when we set it up on the chassis, but that's pretty much the final height. The next thing we do is to trim out the rear of the body. The BSCRA rules allow us on sports type cars to trim out the rear of the body right up to where the wing finishes. So I'm gonna start by marking a line right across the rear of the wing of where I'm going to trim up to. There we go. So I'm pretty much going to trim right up to the back of the rear wing like that. Then I'm going to trim up the side. This body shell has quite rounded corners. So I'm actually going to trim slightly further around the round, sort of nearer the side of the body shell. So I haven't got a curve coming onto the back of my body shell. So I'm trimming that straight up. Now I'm not going to go quite all the way up to the top. I'm going to stop about five millimeters short because then I'm going to use a curved pair of scissors just to curve the final bit into where my line is marked on the body shell. So I'm going to curve that round 
Again, trying not to dent or mark the body shell as I'm doing it. Then I can go back to my straight scissors and cut along my line. Again, finish a few millimetres short. Take your curved scissors. Curve the corner once again. Take your straight scissors and finish it off. And then we've basically, we've gone round in one go then. Excuse, it's a bit odd because I'm trying to hold it so you can see on the camera. There we go. And then we have the rear of the body shell trimmed out. And to finish this off, because I don't want the body shell to rip and tear, which is part of the reason why I've left these slightly curved corners, I'm going to take a rotary tool in my Dremel. It's basically like a grinding, sanding disc in there. I'll put some links uh, to Amazon in my description of my video. I'm going to run this at a slow speed and I'm going to use that the tip of the wheel just to sand off into these tight corners just to make sure there aren't any tears from the scissors in these corners of the body shell. Turn the shell round, just so that the disc is travelling in the opposite direction again. Tiny little bit of tape caught inside there for some reason, don't know where that's come from. There we go, back of the body shell, trimmed out, corners smoothed off, so they shouldn't tear, very, tear as easily in an accident. I'm then going to just trim this little lip off the side of the body shell so it fits into the body jig much more easily. If the body shell is really tall, maybe you might need to trim the sides down a little bit, but this doesn't have to be very accurate because when I put it in my body jig, I'm going to pin it in the right place and trim it afterwards. So I just need to take off this little moulding lip on the bottom. Both sides trimmed, see, so not very accurately, not very even. I've left enough body shell for the getting the right height of the body shell. Done. Now we come on to the pinning phase. This is where I need my body jig. Here it is. You can see I've already got it set up for the chassis that I want. You can see in one of my other videos how I actually go about setting up the body jig ready for use. I'll put a link on the screen very soon. <clears throat> so. I'm going to pull the pins out slightly. Now, in the back of my body shell, just to get it ready, I need a small piece of piano wire. It's got a couple of little bit of tape, bits of tape on the side. So I'm going to use this to help hold it up into the rear wing mount there. So I stick it just inside the body shell. And then that piece of piano wire is going to magnetize to the two magnets that are inside there. So I can then put my body shell onto my jig. There it goes. It's maybe always worth just checking that you've got your jig set up correctly and you've got it the right height. So I often just check with a pair of digital calipers on the rear height just to check that it's going to be okay. I don't want to get to the track and then find that my body shell is illegal. So when I'm happy that's sitting right into my jig sitting where I want it. I can then push the pins through. There we go. And like that. And then I've now got my four pin holes in my body shell in the right position for sitting onto this chassis. And just to show you how quick it is, here's another body shell that I trimmed off. So now I can put this body shell onto the jig. There we go. 
get that sitting correctly on the rear wing part where I want it again sitting correctly at the front so anywhere I want it and again I can just pin this one too one two like that and now this shell is now also pinned ready so again if I've got a few shells prepared I can quickly go and pin them all accurately all the same in short space of time whilst I've still got the body shell pinned on the body jig something else you can do is to mark the sides of the body shell if you've already taken off you can just repin it back on but I can actually use my pen now and the sides of the jig to mark a nice straight line down the sides of the body shell so that I've got a nice line of where I'm going to trim to down the side of the body shell. Let's do the other side. And then you can see we've got a nice trim line down the side of the body shell so we know where we're going to trim the body to. Let's go. There we go, body shell trimmed. It should sit nice and flat on your block.